Guys, I'm just so fascinated by the... Hey everyone, I'm Garrison and welcome back to the channel. So today, finally, I'll be checking out Classy's debut with Shut Down the MV for Naal. Not only heard good things from you guys, as well as from my friend quite a bit, not gonna lie, as he kept up with their survival show, My Teenage Girl. And funny story before we dive into Shut Down uh, here and, and the whole entire MV and such, is that I actually checked out the pre-show of My Teenage Girl episode 0 if I recall correctly, then showed my friend. Next thing you know I was busy with my studies but my friend kept up with the entirety of the show so something to keep in mind I'm not familiar with the whole journey process and the members by any means except for Hyeju being uh, his bias and as well as Hyungso who I noticed at the time who made the final uh, lineup we love. Uh, to see it and all. I'm just really, really curious what route they took with this. I heard something about zombies. Something spoiled me on my timeline on Twitter, unfortunately. But enough talk, guys. Let's just dive into it, shall we? All right, guys. So I brought it up here. Shut down by Classy. I got the English captions on and all. Let's go. Oh. These epic strings going on here. They're in high school. Oh, something's going on with this crate. Bit of drums. Whoa. Okay, we're already in verse one here. Oh. Guys, I'm just so fascinated by the Okay, hit you. The vocal work. But the overall song structure to this so far. Like this very mysterious like xylophone going on. Smooth transitions in this MV too that work so well with the song. Yeah, just the production of this MV is phenomenal. Yet, I love how they're so dynamic with it in the vocals. I just love the drums so much in this. Like from the epic drums to like all sorts of kinds of drums in this going on. Just from the pre-chorus and then... The chorus as well as the post-chorus. Oh wow, what a catchy song. From the chorus and the post chorus. And the energy to this. Is hyper energetic and I love it that it is like that Ooh. 
Man Song Bangs. Man, that vocal work. What can I say, guys? Just... <laughs> Man, the talent just keeps on growing and growing throughout these generations and uh, stuff. Throughout all these generations that we're going through and uh, such. But this has to be one of my top favorite debuts of this year. Hands down, guys. I mean, I think, honestly... You're gonna have like you know a mixture of, uh, I would say perspectives on uh this. Um, either you know not being up in terms of taste, being up there in terms of taste, but I would say more so a lot of people leaning towards the being surprised and shocked by this debut, and I feel like I fit. A bit in that category and a bit into my expectations and what do i mean by expectations is that based off of that the the pre-show of my teenage girl and knowing, knowing like who's behind in the works and who they brought into the works for the the show i feel like i was really expecting something that has a good budget you know nothing scaled back or anything cheap like that and clearly uh when it comes down to the music video and the overall composition to this song nothing was left out okay uh <laughs> uh speaking more so about i would say the overall soundscape of this song, I could see uh, a lot of people that already commented on the the web about how this has a lot of PPT, Paint the Town, PTT uh, uh, in influence uh, is, and of course we know who's behind uh, the works based on the track listing and uh, of course the credits of this song that I uh, saw prior to this way back when the track listing uh, came out for their upcoming debut and stuff like uh, that and uh, it makes sense right but for me I didn't think of that uh, during the song I thought wow I haven't heard percussion instruments be done like this uh that often and even until the times where we had happiness by red velvet if you think about happiness by red velvet they had those epic timpani drums done in a certain kind of way and a certain percussion instruments done in a certain kind of uh way i i just, what i really love about this song uh, well, one of the things, one of the many things I love about this song is the transitions between each section. And what I mean by that is, I'm so used to having a pre-chorus where it's built up with like a riser or or a snare, a snare drum that kicks it off or something electronically uh, done. But how it's done, uh, how it's sort of... Dra how would I put this? Because from my perspective, you do not get songs like this ever uh, in terms of arrangement by any means and song structure wise, especially when it comes to um, debuts. You don't hear something like this at all in terms of that kind of manner. And what I mean by that, let me start from the beginning thinking about this song. OK, we started with like verse one what i noticed you know we had that cinematic intro not an intro in the song but a cinematic intro for the music video for the song then we hit verse one but then uh usually in a, a regular uh regular formal 
uh, arrangement to any song, it, it tends to go like, oh, verse one, uh, hit us with the pre-chorus, and it could be a short verse one, it could be a dragged on verse one, but the fact that we got a verse one, and then followed up with that refrain, and you know, the big fuss moment, was was just so fascinating i was like oh before that i was like damn the the vocals are being showcased immediately so well from the start in verse one but then we get hit with that refrain I'm like whoa what is going on then we get hit with that pre-chorus that sets it up so well even uh more it gets you anticipating in the moment upon first listen right it's like Whoa, what's going to happen uh, next? And then once we get the drop of the chorus, I'm like, wow, that is something I did not a a expect. Something that is like so satisfying per se. And then they follow through with the shut down, shut down. Continuing to be dynamic with it in the vocal department. But not like really putting shutdown uh in the chorus more so class is over obviously you know why uh but putting shutdown as the post chorus has to be the most unpredictable way they could have uh done this but the way that it's done like that to not only have a satisfying yet somewhat catchy chorus followed up by a, a very catchy uh really uh loud sounding uh, post chorus what can i say guys like i didn't anticipate that but then okay we're so used to having like a verse one and then as much as up to a verse two in title tracks but the fact that we got a verse three in this was incredible um to be fair the only thing that i feel like is is a growing factor right not necessarily a bad thing not necessarily a good thing i'm not sure it's for me or for some but for me uh only for uh, me at the moment we'll see about your guys uh thoughts i feel like what's very contrasting is how loud the chorus and the post chorus is right it's great and all uh, it hits you right away when we first hear it but then I feel like verse verse one it sets us up so well, and then I feel like verse two, verse uh three sort of gets drowned out a bit by everything else that's going on uh in the song. By no means uh this uh, song is uh I would say all over the place. I don't want to say the M word because those I just don't like that usage of word. I don't think that's the right term that right word to describe songs that are like uh all over uh, the place in terms of arrangement wise this is not all over the place by any means this is very niche uh and uh, unique in its own uh way which i dig a lot and yeah i just feel like it just is a little bit too much right uh, i wish maybe they up the ante a bit with that verse two verse uh three but i feel like verse two and verse three I still dig it right and it really goes to show you you know this this song could have took a whole different route and could have been way too way too overwhelming if it was more louder than it was you know what I'm trying to say I think there's a good amount of uh, drums in this various drums done in this epic timpani drums and like this Ah, this, I would say, pipe or type of woodwind uh, flute that is very chirpy with it. Really dig that flute or woodwind instrument that's going on, or pipe that's going on. Uh, I think the bridge, uh, I love how they still kept a bridge because they could have just done a, a, a verse 3 and skipped a, a bridge and make the song shorter uh, than uh, it it should be, you know what I'm, I'm saying? Because sometimes songs do that and then the songs feel way too uh, short, which makes you like want more and more. Uh, but if anything that I've got most out of this that I love the most is that Classy themselves 
were able to flex their vocal chops in this uh in such a dynamic yet um I would say a complimenting kind of way, you know, they truly complement each other and based on those few clips that I saw from my friend from some of the performances uh, nearing the end of my teenage girl of the survival show, a lot of the contestants and finalists and the members that uh, you know here today in Classy have incredible vocals and voices and uh, the way that they complement each other is just so satisfying so satisfying yet so inter interesting really due to the arrangement of the song but with that being said because how the vocals are very dynamic the vocal processing for this song and the vocal mixing in this song is like a complete 10 out of 10 you know i'm so used to hearing like mixes that are gravitate like a little bit lower in grade in 9 out of 10 and sometimes it can be very obvious that uh vocal processing is not uh uh there i mean if you want a good song if you want a phenomenal song or a masterpiece a matter of fact you gotta land between like a 9 out of 10 in terms of a mixing and mastering and then a vocal processing always has to be there because sometimes it's just there to meet the need sometimes it could actually elevate any uh, uh song honestly because you don't want vocals to be drowned out and uh, even though the song is really loud to a certain extent you know i'm going to emphasize that to an extent you can clearly hear all the members throughout the entirety of the song, which I love a lot. As some of you may know, usually when it comes to my biases, I end up falling for like the leader or the main vocal or lead vocalist in any uh, group. And uh, yeah, love the vocals, love the vocals in this so, so much. But before we dive into the second watch and listen, let me get some water because I feel like I've been... About talking a whole record, uh, <laughs> talking a lot, like a whole essay about uh, this. The classy shutdown. I gotta say, upon first listen, I was like, oh. But as it progressed, right, during the first listen, it slowly but surely, by the very end, became a 9 out of 10 for me. And I think with more listens, it'll be easily like a 9.5 out of 10 and maybe performance wise takes it up to another level because sometimes performances just take it up to an another uh level usually i should say not sometimes but uh let's just get back into this shall we let's just get back into this uh from the beginning here yes and i want to up the volume a bit more by the way i really dig this uh concept I'm not gonna lie okay of course there's that typical like uh, school concept uh, that is done by uh, boy groups and girl groups. Um, we don't see them as much as often because it's done a, a lot uh, too much, as a matter of fact. But just to have a twist of it with like apocalypse of uh, zombies and obviously uh, shut down, referring we're gonna shut the place down and we're gonna try to escape this the craziness that's going on with. The zombies and uh such and uh yeah the, the how the song is done really emphasizes that uh sort of concept the theme that's going on here i really dig the cinematic intro too for this to really under for us to understand what's going on in this music video see the broken buildings high rises meanwhile they're still in class but like the chaos is going on and all but i just love how it starts here hold up let me hear things out Very lights drums in combination of these epic timpani drums or some sort of epic drums that adds more emphasis and 
Dan saying the uh, just a, a bit of vocal work here and there, and the use of certain vocal techniques, especially near the ending of this song, adds so much to the song. But I get, I guess, like verse one gets us a bit of that taste of the chorus in the song. Now, okay, now it's like, what? What's going on now? Like, this is completely different. It just keeps on picking up and picking up until the chorus, right? And then on that drop of the epic drums, Jim Jong, uh, Bam Bam, I, I, uh, now we hit the refrain, and I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> Love the vocal layering there. And then Heju with this other uh, member, I'm gonna find out uh, uh, soon. Especially after this uh, reaction and review, I really love the co their combo wing here. I mean, upon first listen, mind you, it's like, uh, but then uh, second listen here, I'm digging it here. Yeah, see the emphasis with the drums? Really well done. And then, pre-chorus, right? The ooh again. How the drag, ooh, oh, so satisfying. And the ooh. And then once it's like, class is over, end of trim it right there, end of the chorus into, uh, you, you think you wouldn't even get more catch here? The, the post chorus right here. Choreo works so well with this moment too in the song. And see what I'm saying? The transitions uh, between the outfits and such. Uh, like, they had uh, a lot of uh, outfits in this. From their school outfits, and then for their darker outfits here, right? Really dig it. But that's that chirping woodwind instrument or, or pipe or something that's going on that is very... It, I would, it, I'm leaning more towards a traditional woodwind instrument going on. Maybe a traditional folk instrument. Now we get hit with the verse 2 with Geju, which I actually um, dig a lot uh, now that I'm hearing it again. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I really dig this. My style, my visual, my relaxation, my confidence. And clearly here, you know, they're emitting a lot of confidence. You know, the, a lot of presence in this is shown, like... What I mean by that, right? You know, when you when I talk about presence, when it comes to live performances, it's very important. But it's important in music videos as oh well, and to really be able to showcase all the members in the music video and uh, the presence, uh, their presence in this music video is like it was showing that overflowing confidence, and and also the vocal work shows that as well. And the, oh yeah, oh my goodness. Ooh. 
Yeah, th this is such a relentless, hard-hitting song, and I dig it for that kind of hard-hitting, very hyper and energetic feel. And I think it's here. Yeah. This is the verse three, and then later on the bridge here, which, wow. Unbelievable. Mm. I just love how the delivery of the lines here are way different in this verse three. Yet it works with the overall tempo to the song. And obviously, when you have a verse 3, you gotta sacrifice the length of a bridge. Yeah, the vocal work near the end of this. Now it ends in the choreo like that with the hands. So cool. Classy. What can I say, guys? What can I say? This was a more than great, more than solid debut by Classy themselves. And I can't even imagine what they're gonna come through with next uh, as a comeback. I'm sort of getting ahead of myself here because I need to check out the B-sides uh, tied along to their uh, debut. But more, a little bit more talking about Shutdown, I feel like as much as there is that replay fa value factor in terms of the song, I think the MV production wise, I could see myself watching the, the MV over and over again. And then after the comebacks, luck of back upon their debut of Shutdown and be like, man, this was a, a great time when Classy made such an impactful, yet very unique debut from the bunch uh, that's going on uh, in the, the, the year of 2022. I mean, to be fair, all of the debuts have been uh, standing out to me in their own special ways but let me know guys your thoughts of classy's debut with shut down in the comment section down below as i would love to co really connect with you guys about all the members i'm gonna definitely have to familiarize myself uh with all the members probably by uh the album uh, review after that album uh, review and uh such but take care as always be sure to like share maybe subscribe as it helps out the channel so so much it just warms my connecting with y'all about uh classy and uh yeah i'm definitely gonna have to talk to my friend a lot more about a uh, classy but as always have a great day have a good night have a good afternoon wherever you are take care Guys, and peace.